in leaving cert algebra one we're going to look at pascal's triangle and we're going to look at pascal's triangle in relation to the use of binomial expansion and binomial expansion is something like a plus b to the power of n we could have 3a plus 4b to the power of 5 we could have 3x plus 4y to the power of 10. we may not get one that high that power that high but if we look at the triangle the triangle enables us if we start with a 1 and we put a 1 and a 1 underneath all the numbers come by adding the two numbers above so there's ones all down the side and we say 1 and 1 is 2 to give us the middle term now we're adding 1 and 2 to get this term and we're adding 2 and 1 to get this term now we're adding 1 and 3 to get 4 3 and 3 is 6 3 and 1 is 4 and a 1 now we have 1 and 4 6 and 4 6 and 4 4 and 1 and a 1 now we have a 1 a 6 a 15 a 20 a 15 a 6 and a 1 and you can see every second row we have this double number in the middle we have a 1 a 7 a 21 a 35 again my double number 35 21 7 and 1 and I'm going to stop here with Pascal's triangle and we look at some questions in relation to expansion and how it works with the triangle. Now, let's start with a simple one. Let's start with a squared. Now, my squared number, this is the row that we're going to use for squared. Cubed, obviously, the one below that, and so on. So, the non-one rows are the ones to look at when we're looking at squared. So, squared is actually, if we call this row 1, squared will be row 3, but we're going to call this row 0, row 1 row two so squared row two so let's have a look at a plus b to be squared now at this point of leaving cert algebra if you don't know the answer to a plus b to be squared you need to go back and look at your junior cert algebra videos to get up to speed with with these it's a squared plus a b twice so this term by this term twice so that's twice a b plus b squared now let's look at the coefficients of all the numbers in this expansion the coefficient of a squared is one this one here the coefficient of a b is 2 you can see where we're going with this 2 and the coefficient of b squared is 1 let's look at a cube a plus b to be cubed so we're looking at this term the coefficients of our numbers are going to be these if it was 2a we we do the same type of maths but then we bring in the row at the end so let's look at a plus b to be cubed it's a plus b by a plus b by a plus b so it's the previous answer a squared plus 2ab plus b squared times a plus b and multiplying this out is a cubed plus a squared b plus 2a squared b plus 2ab squared plus ab squared plus b cubed and we have a couple of like terms here we have these two guys are both a squared b so we have a cubed plus three of them three a squared b plus we also have three of these guys three a b squared plus b cubed and have a look at our coefficients we have a one a three a three and a one a one a three a three and a one and you can see that this is row three okay so let's have a look at row four but we're going to bring in some coefficients of x and y or a and b or whatever letters are inside the bracket so let's have a look at 2a plus 3b to the power of four i want to show you now that the pattern rather than multiplying this bracket out four times we start with 2a and it's going to be to the power of four then we're going to have when it's a plus sign they're all plus signs if it's a minus sign the signs rotate we'd start with a plus we'd go to a minus and so on so the next term is going to be 2a to be cubed by the second term 3b to the power of 1 now look at my powers here i've got a 4 i have a 3 and a 1 which add up to 4 so your powers will always add up to this number so follow this pattern so now we're going to have 2a it's going to go from 4 at the beginning all the way down to zero we're not going to show the zero it's like in here we could write 
3b to the power of 0, but we're not going to. We're just going to leave it out because we know that's equal to 1. So we're going to have 2a to be squared by 3b to be squared. Then we're going to have 2a to the power of 1, which obviously is just 2a, by 3b to the power of 3. And then we're going to have just 3b to the power of 4. Now, what we do is we simplify this line, and then we add in the row from Pascal that has a 4 at the beginning, or in this position, because we're dealing to the power of 4. So 2a to the power of 4 is 16a to the power of 4 plus 2 cubed by 2 cubed by 3. Well, we'll do the letters. We'll do the numbers first. 2 cubed is 8 by 3 is 24. And we have a cubed b to the power of 1 plus 2 squared is 4 by 3 squared 9. 4 nines are 36 a squared b squared plus 2a to the power of 1. So 2 by 3 cubed. So 227s are 54ab cubed plus 3 to the power of 4, which is 81 b to the power of 4. Now we apply Pascal's line, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and you multiply them. Now you can put these in right at the beginning. Let me just change color here. You can put them in here. You put your 1, your 4 right at the beginning, but I think it's easier just to multiply it out because it also shows you that you just write them out the terms in your answer. So our answer is 16a to the power of 4. 4 24s are 96 a cubed b. 636s are the same as uh, 2108s, so 216a squared, b squared, and 454s is also 2108s, so 216ab cubed plus 81b to the power of 4. So let's have a look at a minus one, and then I'll do a few where you guys can test yourselves. So we look at row 5 this time, so to the power of 5. So let's take uh, x minus 2y to the power of 5. It's a little bit easier when the coefficient of one of the numbers is 1. So we start off with x to the power of 5. Now this is the plus. So now the signs alternate. It's the easiest signs alternate. I'll just that down here. Signs alternate when it's a minus. Rather than having to worry about the signs, we just put the minus in. And we're going to get x to the power of 4 times 2y, I'm going to get rid of this bracket here, x to the power of 4 by 2y to the power of 1. Then we have a plus x to the power of 3 by 2y to the power of 2. And just check your powers keep adding up to 5. Minus x to the power of 2, 2y to the power of 3, plus x to the power of 1 by 2y to the power of 4, and then minus 2y to the power of 5. So simplifying this. We're going to get x to the power of 5 minus 2x to the power of 4y plus 2 squared is the only number we have. So 4x cubed y squared minus 2 cubed is 8. 8x squared y cubed plus 2 to the power of 4 16xy to the power of 4 and 2 to the power of 5 is 32y to the power of 5. And our Pascal line, 1, 5, the double tens, 5 and 1. So 1, 5, 10, 10, 5 and 1. Applying these, we're going to get x to the power of 5 minus 10x to the power of 4y plus 40x cubed y squared minus 80x squared y cubed plus 90, 5 sixteenths x, y, not 90, 80, 50 and 30, 80, x, y to the power of 4, minus 32, y to the power of 5. So that's the second one. Now I'm going to do two. So I'll do one at a time because you do need a big long space to expand these. So you try and expand 3x plus 4y to the power of 3. Okay, so you pause the video and hopefully this is your solution. 3x to be cubed plus 3x to be squared by 4y plus 3x by 4y to be squared plus 
4y to be cubed. 3 cubed is 27. 3 squared is 9 by 4 is 36. Plus 3 by 4 squared, so 3 16 is 48. And 4 cubed is 64y cubed. And applying your line with a 3, 1, 3, 3, 1. So your answer is 27x cubed. 336s are 108 x squared y plus 348 or 144 x y squared plus 64 y cubed nice easy one to start with now we'll do a minus one to the power of six where there's quite big numbers okay so 2x minus 4y to the power of six pause the video okay so here's the first line of your solution 2x to the power of 6, what happens with the signs? They alternate. Minus 2x to the power of 5 by 4y to the power of 1. If you want to put to the power of 1 in, you can. You don't have to. Plus, because the signs alternate, 2x to the power of 4 by 4y to the power of 2 minus 2x to the power of 3 by 4y to the power of 3 plus 2x to the power of 2 by 4y to the power of 4 minus 2x by 4y to the power of 5 and then plus 4y to the power of 6. Now I'd recommend using your calculator here 2 to the power of 6, 2 to the power of 5 by 4 and so on. Don't try and do it manually like I do because you will inevitably make mistakes like I do. Okay 2 to the power of 6 is 32 by 2, 64 x to the power of 6 minus 2 to the power of 5 is 32 by 4 is 128 128 x to the power of 5y plus 2 to the power of 4 is 16 by 4 squared 16 16 is there 256 x to the power of 4 y to the power of 2 minus 2 cubed is 8 by 4 cubed 864 is our 864 is our 512 x cubed y cubed plus 2 to the power of 2 is 4 by 4 to the power of 4 2 to the power of 4 by 4 to the power of 4 by 4 to the power of 4 is 256 by 4 1024 x squared y to the power of 4 minus 2 by 4 to the power of 5 well that's two that's the same as 1024 by 2 2048 x y to the power of 5 hopefully these are all correct if they're not you can roar at your ipad plus 4 to the power of 6 is 16 cubed which is 4096 y to the power of 6. so jumping up for the power of 6 from pascal pa so we have 1 6 15 20 1 6 15 20 and then it repeats 1 6 1 6 15 20 15 6 and one and multiplying these we are going to get 64 x to the power of six minus six 128 is 720 and 48 7 68 x to the power of 5 y plus 15 256 is 2560 and then half of that again 3840 x to the power of 4 y to the power of 2 Minus 25 twelves is 5120 twice, which is 10 to 40. X cubed, Y cubed. You guys are just going to use your calculator. 15 1024s is going to give me 10240, and half of that is going to be 15 360. X squared, Y4. If there's any mistakes in this, just contact me and I may get back to you. I may not. Minus. Uh, six twelve thousand and six forty eight is twelve two eight eight twelve two eight eight x y five and then I'll just write underneath plus four zero oh, nine six y to pair six. So that concludes leaving cert algebra one. Pascal's triangle. Practice writing it out a few times, and you'll always be able to write it out. It does have other uses, which we'll see when we come to um, combinations with um, NCR, and we'll, we'll link the two things um, then. Okay.